About a week ago, it was randomly announced that this Fujifilm Instax printer, a popular mini printer in Japan, would work in conjunction with the Nintendo Switch to print your Pokemon Snap pictures. It's kind of an homage to the old Pokemon Snap printers you might remember from Blockbuster about 200 years ago. It's a really cool device to use, and it is fun to be able to print your pictures wherever you are. It might come in particular handy this summer when everybody emerges from their COVID hibernations and is partying in the streets. In terms of Nintendo Switch integration, I would only say that this works with Nintendo Switch because Nintendo says so. Fujifilm is releasing a Nintendo branded one that has slight red and blue accents, and they're releasing a Pokemon case bundle later in May. But when you actually get down to using this thing, there's a lot left to be desired about this Nintendo Switch integration. Although despite its user experience, it is still really cool to be able to hold your Pokemon Snap pictures in real life. This video is sponsored by The cult classic Wii U game, you know, the one everybody always had in their Switch ports wishlist, is now on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam, with a free demo you can try right now. The Wonder Size Cadet demo has about two hours of gameplay with all of Operation 001. And should you choose to buy the game and continue playing, it's currently on sale for 32% off. That's just $27.19 on all platforms. And the save data from the demo is transferable to the main game, so you can just pick up where the free demo left off and keep playing. The Wonderful 101 has you take control of 100 unique and dazzling heroes, each with their own backstories and emblems. You are the 100th and one. Me? Yes, you, you stupid idiot. In the demo, you'll have access to the hidden character, Wonder Bayonetta, you know, from Bayonetta. Because this is a platinum game, it's the same guys. So check out the free demo right now using the links in the description below to have it automatically download to your console of choice. That's two hours of free gameplay for one of the best Wii U games. The printer retails for $100, and the Nintendo red and blue branded one is the same price, although it's pretty much sold out everywhere right now. The Pokemon case bundle is going to be $120, so it's $20 extra for that Pikachu case, and that comes out later in May. That's probably the one to get if you still plan on playing Pokemon Snap by then. If you're like me and you don't care about the little accents and you just want to print your damn Pokemon pictures now, they all work pretty much exactly the same. There's no additional functionality with the Nintendo branded ones. I'll have Amazon links to all of the different Instax printers that you can get in the description below because some of them might be sold out and some of them might be more easily available. Those links will help support this channel. Thank you very much. Fujifilm did release a new version of their app specifically for the Nintendo Switch. That will give you a couple more Nintendo themed options, but you could probably get away with using the old version of the app too. Basically, this printer just prints from whatever's on your phone. So as long as you can get your Pokemon Snap pictures onto your phone, you can just use whatever printer works with your phone. The only real benefit that this particular printer and the app associated with it has over other printers is the Nintendo branded themes and borders that you can add to your pictures. And a tinge of Nintendo Switch integration, a modicum of Nintendo Switch integration, an iota. Connecting the printer to your phone is very simple. First, you're going to want to make sure it's fully charged. It might not want to connect to your phone otherwise. This was a mistake I made when I first took it out of the box. It comes with this insanely tiny micro USB cable, so good luck using it while it's charging. But once it's charged, you click the little Bluetooth icon at the top of the app, you should see the device right there, hit connect, and it'll just work. It's very simple. Then you have to put the film in the printer. It comes in these little 10-pack cartridges. I got two two-packs, so it was 40 sheets altogether, and that cost around $13. And the pictures themselves are this big. It's 
6.2 centimeters by 4.6 centimeters, which for us Americans is roughly this many inches. It's not like putting film into a camera. You can't really screw this up or accidentally expose the film to light. It's idiot proof. Make sure this yellow bit is lined up. The printer will instantly pop out the cover. Yo, that was suggestive. <laughs> the printing process for Pokemon Snap Pictures is pretty much exactly the same as any pictures in your Switch's photo album, but I'll show you how to do it specifically with Pokemon Snap since that's what this integration was created for. After snapping a bunch of photos in Pokemon Snap, you go into the lab, then you go to your space, then albums. From here, you need to save each picture that you'd like to print to your Nintendo Switch. Now you can close Pokemon Snap and just go to your Switch's photo album. From this point on, the printing process will be exactly the same with any pictures that you might have in your Nintendo Switch's photo album. So you select the picture that you wanna print, press A for sharing and editing, then send to smartphone. It is at this point where the bullshit ensues. The switch will tell you to scan this QR code with your phone. You can either do this within the Instax app or you can do this with your iPhone's camera app. It works the same way. After scanning the first QR code, your switch will create a temporary Wi-Fi connection with your phone. So you'll be booted off whatever Wi-Fi you're on. Then you have to scan the second QR code in order to actually send the photo to your device. Then it'll either save in your camera roll or it'll just show up in the Instax app. The process is basically the same on Android as well. From this point on, the printing process will be exactly the same with any photos that you have on your phone at all. So you can print a picture of your lunch or a funny meme that you saw on Twitter. Before I show you how the actual printing process works, I'd like to show you how easy it is to get a picture from, say, your Xbox to your phone. Watch. What was that, two taps? I mean, it was on the phone in one swipe. This is a testament to Nintendo's terrible Switch Online app. The only purpose that that app serves right now is horrible voice chat. Why not use that app to better connect players to their smartphone more easily? This is what Xbox does with their Xbox app. All I wanna do is I wanna get my pictures from here over onto here. They both have Bluetooth. They're both already on the same Wi-Fi. Why is there so many steps? I just wanna beep it over here. Okay, now that we solved the puzzle that they gave us, now that we solved the shrine of the silver monkey, now we can print the photos within the Instax app. So if you scan that QR code in the Instax app, the pictures will already be there ready to go. If you used your smartphone's camera, then you just have to go to the camera roll from within the Instax app. Now you can resize it, add a fun border, add text, or do whatever. Resizing can be a little jank, so try not to rely on this too much. Then you just hit print, and it comes right out. It's very simple. The user experience from within the Fujifilm app is actually very simple and straightforward. All of my problems that I have with this whole process are from Nintendo's end. But there are some ways around Nintendo's ineptitude. All of the screenshots that you've taken on your Nintendo Switch are saved within the Switch's micro SD card if you have one inserted. If you have an Android phone that has a micro SD card slot, you should theoretically just be able to power off your Switch, pop that micro SD card out and pop it into your smartphone. And then they should just show up if you navigate to it using File Explorer. I don't have an Android phone with a micro SD card slot, so I couldn't test this, but I'm, it, I'm sure it works just fine. If you have an iPhone, obviously you can't do this, but you can get one of these dongles. It is a lightning to SD card dongle. I use this with my camera when I'm out and about, maybe at a convention and I wanna be able to post photos immediately, or if I'm at a cool location, my camera does have the ability to connect wirelessly to my phone and send pictures that way, but this is just so much more straightforward and way easier. If you were trying to use this printer to print photos from your camera, it's as easy as popping the SD card into this dongle and going to your photos app. It'll just pop up in the corner there. 
printing photos from this printer works fantastic, which shouldn't be a surprise. It is the intended purpose of this printer. But of course, the switch has to make things more difficult. The screenshots are hidden away in a folder on this micro SD card. You can pop this micro SD card into one of these micro SD card to SD card adapters that usually come with micro SD cards and then pop that into this dongle. And then you put this into your phone and then from there you use an app called Documents to open your files and navigate to the micro SD cards folder. And by clicking the share button, you can save photos to your camera roll. From there, it will print as normal. I'm not sure if this process is any easier than just scanning the damn QR code, partly because you have to power the whole switch down in order to take the micro SD card out at all. But I just had this thing already and I wanted to try it out. Maybe it's easier if you wanna transfer a whole bunch of pictures at once. I'm just having a hard time believing that this process is so complicated. There's gotta be an easier way. It's, I just wanna move my photos. Anyway, the printed picture takes about three minutes to fully develop. You should probably wait around five. And it looks pretty good. It's essentially a Polaroid, which is kind of a funny thing to say because it's not a Polaroid at all. It's a Fujifilm, and I'm sure Fujifilm would be very upset by all of the reviews and videos like this calling it essentially a Polaroid. I know this is supposed to give you that Polaroid effect, so the colors are a little warm in the final image. The whites aren't really that white, and the blacks aren't really that black. I tried letting the pictures develop in complete darkness to see if it had any effect on the picture quality, but it made zero noticeable difference. So you're not exactly getting the best quality pictures out of this printer. If, if you wanted that, you should probably just use a different printer, which you can do because once the pictures are on your phone, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. But don't get me wrong, it is cool to have your Pokemon Snap pictures in tangible form. It's also arguably cooler to take a picture off your phone and be able to physically just hand that to someone. This is a really cool device and it was very smart of Nintendo and Fujifilm to partner with each other in this way. I never would have gotten something like this otherwise, but I'm glad that I was able to play around with it because it is really cool. But is it $100 cool? Unfortunately, that's a question that you're gonna have to ask yourself. It's not something that I could answer for you, really. I can only lead you to that answer. If you're just gonna be printing Pokemon Snap pictures, I would say no. The novelty of Pokemon Snap isn't gonna last very long. The game is only nine hours long. I don't know if you noticed this, but since the game is on rails, everybody's pictures look pretty much exactly the same. I was having a really good time the first day that I got it and I was taking all these pictures and I thought, wow, all oh, these look really cool. Then I posted a bunch online because I was really happy with them. And then I saw the same pictures being posted about a dozen times by other people that I follow. I'm sure some of you have also taken these exact same pictures. So the novelty was lost on me pretty quickly. But don't let me take the fun away from you. If you're having a good time with the game, then more power to you. If you're already having a great time with this game, this printer will only make your experience that much better, however short that experience may be. You should just probably also use this printer for taking actual pictures in order to get the most out of your $100 purchase. Unless $100 doesn't mean that much to you, I don't know your life. What do you guys think about this Pokemon Snap printer and all of the pictures that you can take with it? Do you think this is worth it for you? Do you are you interested in it at all? Or is it a lot of money for something that you're gonna spend uh, very little time on? Leave it in the comments below, at me on Twitter, any and all this other social media garbage. There is a really cool novelty to be able to hold my Pokemon Snap pictures, but if you have something similar already, just use that. Just get the pictures on your phone and use that. What's the difference? What's the difference between having this form factor and having uh, like a Polaroid type? Anyway, as always, some footage here was taken over on twitch.tv slash wolfden where I stream uh, pretty frequently throughout the week, usually at night. And those streams get archived over on youtube.com slash wolfden clips. And today we have kind of a behind the scenes of making this video. Also, thank you Wonderful101 for sponsoring this video. That game is awesome, and I'm very grateful for them to wanna 
give me money to talk about it. So at the very least, check out the demo. Links to that are in the description below. It'll just download right to your Nintendo Switch. The most important thing though that you guys can do to help support me is subscribe to this channel and actually watch the videos. Thank you very much. And share this video with a friend, maybe a friend who just picked up Pokemon Snap and they might be interested in something like this. Maybe a friend who's just really into photography and they uh, think that this could be useful for them. Thank you very much. Have yourself a very good week.